front of it. The other one is all on GUI. Alright, so create a new scene and save this as delegate menu. Alright. Now create a new script. This is all being done through code. Rename. Alright. Delegate menu. Alright, now we'll double click that to open it up. This one is a little different. Okay. So, first off, we'll make a few private variables. We have to actually declare the delegate. And you declare it as a function. So we'll go private, delegate, void, menu, delegate. And then if you want to actually use it, you have to go private, menu, delegate. Wow. There we go. Um, menu function. Now, since this is using all on GUI, I prefer to create variables holding the screen size and button size because on GUI gets called more than once a frame usually sometimes like three or four times so if you're accessing the static screen class and getting properties from it you're really putting a lot of strain on your processor that you don't need to it's more efficient to just store these values in memory so you can just quickly access them and pull what you need. So I'm going to make four floats for screen height, screen width, uh, button height, start we're going to set these values so screen height is equal to screen dot height and we'll be doing the same for width except for screen dot width and for the button height since we already grabbed these values we may as well just use them here so button height um, I'm only going to make two buttons in this menu, so the buttons are going to be pretty big. So it'll be screen height times 0 0.3. And you're going to want to make sure you put this F here. Because if you don't, it's going to create a double, and you're going to get a stupid error, and you're not going to know what's going on. Just make sure you do it. Same with button width. Um, let's go with 0.4. So these are going to be big buttons. And we also need to set the menu function. So menu function equals. Um, we'll just start it out with a quick. Um, press any key to continue. So, any key. Now, I'm going to be making the any key function later. First, I'll do on GUI and show you how easy it is to use this delegate. That's it. As long as you have this menu function in here, you can set the menu function to whatever you want and it'll automatically change it in the on GUI. I'll show you here. Void any key. Wow. If now we'll check if the user has pressed anything. 
which is literally input any key and we just change the menu function to main menu which will be the next function I throw in here and if he hasn't we'll just uh, go GUI dot label I usually just go press any key to continue if I'm doing all these things out of order I'm not meaning to throw you off I'm just just kinda my way of doing things alright so <clears throat> now we're gonna create the label which is gonna say press any key to continue and we're gonna have to choose a position I'm gonna choose the center of the screen which will be screen width times I'm gonna give it a bit of an offset um, just because if I'm going to be having more than say one letter it's going to start at the middle of the screen and move towards the right and that's not really what I want so I'll go 0 0.45 F and then screen height times 0 0.45 F and that's not a lot of text so we don't need all that much room so we'll just go 0.1f and 0.1f. Now, one of the things you might be thinking, say, hey, that's only one tenth of the screen height. Why aren't you just dividing it by 10 instead of multiplying by 0.1? If you're really that curious, I doubt you are. This is kind of a pointless point to make. But it's actually cheaper um, processor wise to multiply something by decimal than it is to divide. And since this is being called multiple times a frame, I'm multiplying everything just to make it that much cheaper. Now, I'm just going to create the menu function. Um, but leave it empty for now just so that we can test this out oh, any errors? oh yes make sure that says void on GUI alright so no errors good to go throw this on the main camera and does it work? yes it does and if we hit any key, this would be where our main menu would happen, but it's empty. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this text centered, that way it's not all just kind of on one side. So GUI.skin.label, since that's what we're doing the text in alignment equals text anchor dot middle center and we also go with actually we'll try that that should be good enough actually that's not what I wanted this is what I wanted there we go Let's see it's not a huge difference, but it does look nicer that way. Alright, now our main menu. <clears throat> okay, so all we're going to do is just create two buttons, and if the player's clicked on them, do what they need to do. So GUI.button. string, let's go start game. And this should be inside an if block. And since it's going to be pretty much the same, we'll just copy and paste and go 
to quit game. Now, screen position. I'll go with screen width. Take away button width times 0 0.5F. Now, what this does is it's going to take this entire screen, subtract the button width, and then divide that by 2. So it's going to center the button when I put the button width in. And screen height, hmm, what should we choose here? It's how high? 0.3? Well, let's just go with 0.1 then. And then we'll just use button width and button height. And I'll just copy this over. We'll just change a few things for the quit button. Screen height will have to be, let's go with 0.5F. Ah. That way there's some space between the buttons and we know it's not overlapping. Is going oh all right so we'll actually put the code in to make it work application quit application load level I'll use level one this time it's good to go and make sure you put this in the build settings too, um, just so it's there. Now let's test it out. Press any key to continue. Uh, there's our buttons. Quick game doesn't work because we're in the editor. Start game. Loads up our level. And it's that simple to get a main menu going. It's not very pretty because this is like maybe a 10-15 minute video. I'm not going to make art for you in front of you. I'm a programmer. I'm a terrible artist. But, uh, yeah, you can basically take that, take it a step further. If you're going to add an options menu, the delegate way is definitely the easiest way to go. Um, if you want to have main menu animations, um, the 3D is the way to go. You could even kind of mix and match between the two. I wouldn't, but it's your game. Do what you want with it. Anyways, this is Pretty Joe signing off, and catch me in my next video. Have a good one, guys.